this cop car one year ago with the intention of driving it on the streets. And today, we have solved the question, is it illegal to drive a cop car on the streets if not a cop? You wanna go right now to the cop? Let's take it to the cop shop right now, and let's ask them. You know, is it allowed? Are the lights allowed? Is that illegal? We go to jail? What will happen if you drive this car? Everyone has a different opinion. A lot of you guys wanna know, can you drive around in it? And furthermore, can we actually decal it like a cop car? So right now, we're gonna go to the CHP, get a cop outside to say, is this illegal or are we good to go? We're gonna tow it to the police station until it actually has plates on it, but it is insured. But well, if we're gonna show up, we'll show up big. We'll bring the Aventador as well, just because well, why not? We have it. I haven't driven it all week. Full start! idea bringing the street pipe to Ventador and a cop car to the police station and just showing up. I don't know how they're not going to give him a ticket when he pulls in into the parking lot. It's going to be entertaining, that's for sure. Hey, we're here at CHP with our cop car. We're all loaded. Oh, Lotus, that's cool. Isn't that cool? It is cool. Why do I feel nervous right now? We're good, right? Well, I feel nervous too, because we just rolled up to the police station. Yeah, we're gonna go in there with cameras and stuff and start asking them questions, so. <laughs> well, Mike, I'll say this. If you can't beat them, join them. There's two things we have to do. Number one is it's illegal, we're gonna get in trouble, we even have this cop. Second part is, to get it registered, it needs a VIN check. So I'm not sure if this car, because it's a cop car, is in the same database. I don't know. I don't know. I should have asked that question when I bought it. It probably would have been a good question. Because <laughs> we actually want to drive this on the streets and have fun with it. But we also want to not get in trouble, like real trouble. It's one thing to get a exhaust ticket and all that, but to like get a felony charge happen per se in a police officer would not be title and thumbnail worthy. Well, I mean, it would, but it would be the last one we ever did. Yeah. Want me to do this for you? I'm a man too. I'm a man too. Let me get the back ones first. No, I'll do this one first. <laughs> Doesn't roll off. I see now why he didn't want the uh, front strap undone. This hole. I'll have to do this NASCAR style. Hey, when you edit that, make it look graceful. Stop driving that car. Guess what? That's okay, because this video is sponsored by Rockform, the best cell phone case on the planet. No joke, four years now, dropping phones. Ain't no thing. This case exceeds military drop specifications. It's also magnetic, which is really convenient. If you're at the cop shop, you want to take some selfies, you can throw it on anything magnetic. It comes in handy a lot, especially when we're filming here for DD, when I want to do like a little reel with that. I put on some metal, film myself, it's really cool. And you guys get a huge discount. 25% off. Do you have a rock room case, Mike? You can get one. I do. Look. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that with my phone right now. So that's not fun. That's so a Rockform case, you're good. So thank you to Rockform for supporting us, supporting the DD family. Every person watching this right now has a phone in their pocket. If it's not protected, your phone is between one and two thousand dollars, cases around 50 bucks, then you get a discount. Plus there's cool accessories. Like I said, the magnet for your vent mount, as well as some little twist lock things for your motorcycle, whatever you've got, there's a case for you. Click the link right now in the description. 25% discount, site-wide. Nice. I'll be right back. All right. Unless well, you want it? I'll be here. Do you want it? I'll wait for you. Do you want it? No, I'm good. You go, you go, go ahead. <laughs> to see if I am allowed to drive it. Um, it has everything, and I want to be able to drive it, but I also don't want to go to jail. So it has everything, but it doesn't have the decals. You vlogging? Yeah, we're YouTube. <laughs> Uh, to my knowledge, as long as it's not trying to represent itself as a police car, like... Well, what would constitute that? So, like, the lights on the roof, is that allowed? The lights on the roof is the only thing that is raising a red flag. Like, if I do this, does that red? flash red and blue? <laughs> yeah. You can't do that? Certain people are allowed to have ambers, but the red and blue lights, you certainly can't have. What would happen if I ran those on the road? Oh, you can get 
in a whole lot of trouble. Like what what would the charge be? Is that impl impersonating a police officer? That's a felony. Yeah. So that wouldn't be a ticket. That'd be a bad <laughs> Yeah, that would that would be, be going to jail, yeah, unfortunately. So I can have it like this, mm -hmm. but just don't turn the lights on. If I don't turn the lights on, I'm not breaking any laws. I gotta look, read the law. I don't have that thing memorized front to back. What would happen if I pulled over no registration, but I had insurance? Get towed. Towed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so should drive it. We're not arrested, unless the lights were on. Yeah, unless the lights were on. So what about in the front here? The push bar is fine. Push bar's okay? Yeah, that's legal, you can have that. And then there's actually in the bumper here, there's lights as people well. with it. And yeah, because that one flashes too as well, right? It does flash, yeah. I just what auction to... did you buy it from? Because uh, usually they remove all this before I bought it, it from a guy who bought it from auction. The only other one I'm aware of is like having the doors black and everything else white. So I can't wrap <clears> it to look like a CHP car? No, I can't. There's a certain color coding that they prevent you from doing. Really? As far as I'm aware of. Spotlight you should be able to have. I can have this? Just don't be activating it on the freeway, please. Would it be illegal or would it be frowned upon? I believe it's illegal. And then on the inside it has a switch panel, but all the other stuff was removed. Uh -huh. So it has the panel. And that's for the lights, right? <laughs> Left yeah. alley, right alley. Is yours like this? Yeah. That's similar. Is yours not, better or not that? Better? I'd have to play with it. You trade if you want. <laughs> nah, what do, what mine, do you drive for a car? Is it the same as this? Not a V8. Yeah, we have V6. Really? really? Yeah. Have so, you ever pulled somebody over before for impersonating a police officer? I have. Really? Yeah. What were they doing? Uh, it was a transformer vehicle, the Charger. Oh. He was taking it to a show. He had it wrapped up just like the transformer. It said police on it and everything. Oh. I gave him a break because I'm a nice guy, but can't promise that's gonna happen to you. Why would uh, someone buy this car, like, in your opinion? Why would someone buy the next cop car? You're asking me to insinuate what you bought it for? Well, for us, we're YouTubers, so it's different, <laughs> but like, why would someone buy an ex-cop car? What would they do with it? What was the whole point? Most of the time, we just auction it off and then say, hey, it's a cheap car for my 16-year-old who just got a license. It's, I Give mean, the boys cops, away. <laughs> cops, use, cops use and abuse their cars. One more thing before I let you go do some research. Is this allowed? I don't see why that would be allowed. Why only, it wouldn't be allowed. The only real question right now is livery and the lights. We just want to know the rules so that we can stay within them. We're breaking a little bit, but not to the point <laughs> of going to jail. Let's be honest right Yeah, now. You, you don't want to break that threshold for sure. I wouldn't want to be tied up in back there. You see how tight it is. Yeah, is that, is that average size? The back's like just off. I don't fit back yeah, there. Yeah, so, some are worse than others. Ours are pretty bad. Ours are pretty similar to that. I mean, you go to some of these PDs, they have plastic seats that I'm really jealous of because people defecate and pee in back what? of cars all the time. Gentlemen. What's oh, happening? Yeah. We bought a cop car. We want to make sure we're not gonna get in trouble. I'm Dave. How you doing, Mitch? Mitch, nice to meet How you. How are you? If we wrapped everything but a door black, but didn't have any of the, obviously, police on it, is that illegal? I don't think there's anything that says you can't paint your car black and white. Really? Yeah. Does it have forward red lights? Yeah. It does. Right now? That's full code. Everything. <laughs> like they the, took the guns out. The light, there's no guns in it. <laughs> it's got everything. <laughs> That'd be a quick way to get in trouble. But what if it was like in a private parking lot, like at my shop, I have a parking lot, and it had the lights on outside. Would that be illegal? As soon as you put it on a public road, then you have an issue. We weren't dumb enough to go on the road and actually use the red and blue lights, but like, we had an idea, we take it to the racetrack, we have a drift car and this chases it, and we put like a handbrake in it, and slide it around, follow it. Some fun. Yeah. But like Mike mentioned, like we won't be able to drive it around too because it's actually just a nice car. It's great that you guys are doing your, your performance driving on a track. That's awesome. You want to, you can take the panel out and not have it in the car when you're driving. And you can't accidentally hit it. Because that would suck to be driving and hit it and all of a sudden lights go off and you see it. Now I'm in jail. And I'm not built for jail. <laughs> I'm not even a little bit. I would not seriously right. Canada too, like uh, we can the Let week. me not waste too much of your time. Let me go start sure. looking it up. Yeah. Is that a blazer? That's a Tahoe. Tahoe. <laughs> yeah, sick. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to race? Great. I wonder what we beat each other. Yeah, and what? This thing is a V8. This is a Hemi. This is Texas. <laughs> is that where it came from? Yeah. It's been awesome. I wasn't sure how this was going to go. Yeah. Way better than I thought. So shout out to the California Highway Patrol for being super cool and letting us turn the lights on for them and them saying, yeah. I mean, it's all, we knew, we, knew, we knew the lights would be a problem, but I want to make sure that in this form, we're good to go. And then after this, we should go do some, uh, in a controlled environment. An FD driver here, so let's do the cop car and do. Is that a resume? <laughs> I'm trying to get a job with YouTube. Uh, let's see. You can't paint it to resemble it. In my opinion, that would be like white door, black paneling, the light bar, the push bumper. I think the judge, in my opinion, would take all that into consideration. Got it. All white, you should be good. Okay. All black, you should be good. Okay. Combination, now you're touching that gray area. Okay. We're going to the light bar. So this just states you can't have any light bar that resembles one that's used by a peace officer or a traffic officer. And by light bar, they mean anything affixed to the roof or emits amber, red, or blue, or any combination of those lights. My interpretation originally was you can't have it, period. But Officer Goddard here, his interpretation of it is you just can't have it on. 
Kind of like yours, similar. Like right now, it, it looks clear. It's as long as you don't have it on, it should be legal. What I'm gonna do is leave my card with you. Okay. And then once I'm able to get a hold of the unit, I'll give you the exact info. I don't want you leaving here saying, hey, Officer Serta, I have video proof of him telling me yeah. it's good to go, and then someone pulls you over. This is my get out of jail free card. Just joking. Just joking. <laughs> Just joking. There you go, Whoa. officer. All right, thank you very much. All right, thanks, Appreciate man. Thanks it. for stopping by. Can I have my lights on when we're doing it in the parking lot? Uh, just in the parking lot. Just turn it okay. off. Okay. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. There we go. <laughs> all right, guys, take it easy. Yeah. Take care. Oh, no, my Celsius? Don't forget your Celsius. <laughs> One donut? Okay, who wants to see donuts in the cop car? Don't go anywhere. I got a plan. <laughs>
Dude, I've never seen a tire blow up like that. To that level? Like... <laughs> we blew up both the marker lights. I've never seen like... I'm actually speechless right now. This video got really exciting all of a sudden. <laughs> hey Damon, if you're watching this, I apologize. <laughs> I told him to do it. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Daily Joint Exotics. Thank you again to Hoonigan for hosting us. It was short, it was brief, but the payoff was amazing. Mike, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. You're a bad but man. it was a crazy day. Hey, if you like more of this, make sure you smash the subscribe button, like this video, share it with a friend, take somebody you don't like, somebody you like, I don't care. It's like a timeshare. Get three people below you right now to watch this video. And, uh, and feel good about yourself. <laughs> feel good about yourself. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, peace. Man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, slow down! I got you back, guys. <laughs> our, our clerical lady, did you get one of your Lambos um, windows busted? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Windshield. windshield. Okay, I saw you on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the replacement of Someone it. Someone stole that, but that's not our TikTok uh, video. <laughs>